Tuesday morning, he went skiing. Went up in the cable car with two men and a boy. Oh, the boy who had the terrible accident? The American boy, yeah. Who are the two men? I don't know. You had never seen them before. Would you describe them? You are a policeman, aren't you? I'll explain later. Just tell me everything you can remember. Well, it was a beautiful day. I like being on the mountain early. I remember getting into the car, and one of the men looked annoyed. It was a big man, blonde. The other one was talking to the boy. Talking to him? Yes. Could you hear what they were saying? No. The other one, not the blonde one, stopped talking as I got into the car. Now, what did he look like? I couldn't tell. Why not? Well, he was masked. Masked? <laughs> well, nothing mysterious. A ski mask over the nose and mouth. It was very cold. All I could see, really, were his eyes. And then they stopped talking? Yes. Now, did the boy seem nervous or frightened? No. He smiled at me. Then he was embarrassed. Why? Well, once or twice, other mornings, he had flirted a little bit with me. Oh, in the nicest way. But this morning he didn't. He was embarrassed because of the man, I'm sure. How did he behave with the other man? I mean, the masked one. Oh, he seemed quite happy. Happy? As though he were glad the man was there and they were together. And then what happened? Nothing. Well, we got to the top and I put my skis on, went off down the slope and I didn't see them again. You didn't ski the Bueller run that morning? No. Why not? There are many runs. I skied one of the others. He seemed such a nice boy. Did you know him? In a way. His poor mother. She died some years ago. Well, his father then. Is that all? Yes.